Hey dolls, it's Theodore here for Ask Theodore Thursdays episode I can't even remember. Um, bear with me, I've got some new lighting, so I think it looks really good, but my soft boxes haven't come in, so there's some shadow action. I'm making like shadow puppets, it's really funny. Anyway, um, I'm on my way to New York tonight, but I had to take some time to do Ask Theodore Thursdays, of course. I'm gonna have my little mid-afternoon coffee because I have a lot to do before I leave. Cheers, dolls. All right, let's get into our first question. It is from Alyssa, Alicia, Alyssa, E-L-Y-S-S-A, from a little town in Connecticut. Um, I'm sure you get this a lot, but I think you're awesome. I admire and look up to you, especially in the hair department. Thank you so much. Honestly, it is so sweet of you to say that. I really do appreciate it. Um, I have a few questions. Forgive me if they're extensive. You certainly don't have to answer all of them. I want to get a streak of blue in my hair, but my hair is very dark and almost black brown. My biggest fear is how the bleaching process will damage my hair, and it will. Are there things I should do or should not do to make sure that my stylist doesn't, or to make sure that my stylist keeps my hair healthy? My biggest fear is bleeding. Blue looks slightly deathly and pale when it bleeds on skin, right? And will probably stain like crazy. Can I prevent this? Um, she has a lot of other questions, but I'm going to focus on this one. All right, here's the thing. Blue hair color is definitely a process. You are going to have to bleach it, and then you're going to put a vegetable-based dye more than likely, like Manic Panic or any of those colors are all vegetable-based generally, and it only stains the hair. It doesn't actually color the hair. So what happens is it does bleed very often. Bleaching does damage your hair. If it's done properly, it can be fine but it's a whole process. If I were you, I would get a blue clip-in extension, or you could even get an extension put into your hair with like with sticky tape or the glue. There's so many different ways you can do it. And I would just rock that. Have it cut to match your hair. Maybe it has a dark root, so it's like from dark to light. That way it looks really natural. But if I wanted to play with funky hair color, I would do chalking. I would clip in an extension. I just wouldn't go through all the hassle of bleaching and then adding the color and then it's bleeding and then you have to reapply it. It's just too much work. Just have fun, clip in the blue hair, enjoy it, style it with your hair, and then when you're over it, take it out. I think hair color that's like that is a really fun accessory, but I just don't personally feel like going through the trouble of having it in your hair and maintaining it. It's just not, it's just not meant to be maintained that much. I mean, I see kids on the street and their stuff is always bleeding out and faded. And by the, by the way, when I'm saying bleeding, I'm just talking about hair color, everybody. <laughs> anyway, it's very, very hard to maintain. So generally speaking, if you just want one piece, try an extension. I know it was a very long answer for a very simple question, but there we are. All right, our next question. Oh, Baxter's moving around. I told him he had to go to work. I'm like, come to work. And he like jumped on my lap. It was hilarious. And then, of course, I had my coffee going. I love my boys. I still have his harness on from his walk. Don't kill me. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, first off, let me say that I love your channel. I look forward to Wednesdays and Thursdays. She must be talking about wedding Wednesdays. Okay, so I have curly, dry, damaged hair that sheds a lot. I have thin hair, and it only looks best when it's straight. Do I get a relaxer to make it easier on styling or will it damage it even more? Thank you, Claudia from California. Miss Claudia, if you have fine hair, I do not recommend doing a relaxer or a straightening treatment because it is damaging and it doesn't sound like your hair is going to make it through it. What I would recommend doing is for you to do your hair only like every other day. So when you blow it dry and you flat iron it, don't wash it the next day. Just touch it up with maybe a really cool flat iron, a little bit of dry shampoo, you're good to go. That is going to be much better bet than doing chemical processes to your hair. Right. Fine hair is like fine silk, and it can only go through so much before it tears. So be careful and stay away from the relaxer, in my opinion. All right, uh, last question, dolls. Um, I just wanted to say that I totally love your videos and pretty much wish you were my hairstylist. Aw, thank you. That's so sweet. Um, if I was everybody's stylist that that I hear this from, I would be super busy. And I'm already super busy, so let's just stick to Ask Theodore Thursday, shall we? Anyway, I just had a question about dry shampoos. I recently started washing my hair every other day, so I've been using dry shampoos in between. Good girl. 
well, it's got my hair looking super dry and flaky, not cute. Just wondering what you think the best dry shampoo out there is. If it matters, I've pinned straight hair and it's not too thin but not very thick either. Thanks so much, Britt. Well, I actually do have a favorite and um, it's Swab Professionals Dry Shampoo. I've been using it for years since it came out. It works as well as Renee Furter. It says right on the bottle. It's super affordable and you can find it anywhere. I've used every single dry shampoo under the sun from $30 to $3. And this one is something I can't live without. It's one of my favorites. And the best part about it is you can find it pretty much anywhere. And it doesn't seem to hold a lot of that color when you spray it. You just brush it out. It does a great job. I've never had a problem with flakes, but that's what's in my kit. So if you were searching through my bag, that's what you would find. And if I was doing your hair for a photo shoot, that's what I would use. So try it out. Let me know what you think. All right, dolls, that's it. That's Ask Theodore Thursdays. I'm going to conclude this episode with a giveaway. I'm going to give away six of that dry shampoo I was talking about. And so what you need to do is subscribe or comment. I check both and I pick from each. So either subscribe to the channel or leave a comment below and I might pick you to receive a free dry shampoo, one of my favorites. And you can try it out and let me know what you think. Until next time, bye dolls.